Coach, congratulations on a uh, successful weekend. You want to walk us through kind of what, what uh, transpired over the last uh, three or four days? Yeah, it was a good good weekend for us, obviously. Um, we went up there and had some uh, supposedly good teams that we wrestled, and I thought we performed really well. Uh, I know they um, you know, stuck to the plan, the game plan that we've been reciting over and over and over for you know the last four months, for gosh sake, <laughs> so they should be getting it down by now. Um, but uh, no, they went out there and performed well, wrestled hard, um, stayed after it, and um, you know came away with some some good wins and some good battles. Any base, but uh, in particular that you surprised you or you know um, our heavyweights looking really good. Uh, Evan McGee, he's doing really well, uh, wrestling hard. His patience has come a long ways since the beginning of the year. Uh, that was kind of a problem for him is is uh, he just wants to go out there and end the match really quick, and then sometimes that happens and sometimes that doesn't. We got to understand that we're all college wrestlers and everybody is good at something. And uh, we got to have our patience because we got seven minutes to pin a guy. You don't have to do it in the first minute, and that's what he kind of thinks. You got to go out there and you get, you know, we got to throw them on their head. And, and sometimes that works, and sometimes it doesn't. But if that doesn't work, then we got to make sure we establish and, and our, our control and, and, and keep our uh, maintain our composure throughout the matches, which is what he's been doing really well. I thought Shelby looked good at 97. We had a tough match with uh, Guilo from North Idaho that we should have won. We ended up getting hit with a stall call, losing by the one point that we got hit with there. Um, you know, uh, um, any given day, that's a different match, and I think it's going to be a different match in another month if we match up with him and end up hitting him. Uh, 84 is Caleb Cotter's looking real well, real well. Dan Hatter's <laughs> solid, always been solid. 74 is there. Um, you know, down to the line up there, we had a couple different 65 pounders uh, in there, and uh, still not for sure which one we're going to use right now. Mark Hobson at 57 has looked really well. Uh, there's a young man that. I didn't think uh, uh, at the beginning of the year we were going to even utilize him, and now he's he's one of our main standout guys. Forty uh, nines, uh, Dobbins looked real fine there. Um, you know, thirty threes, Josh Ailey's really came around as well, and then twenty fives didn't have a real test. Uh, we only had one match with him, but um, Josh is looking. Other Josh is looking pretty good there too. So I think the whole team's really starting to progress quite well. So here in uh, less than two weeks, and you go to district play, right? Yes, sir. Uh, two weeks, we're down at uh, or up at Parsons at uh, Labette Community College for our regional tournament, um, and I expect nothing but uh, coming away with winning it as a team, and then uh, at the same time having ten qualifiers for the national tournament from there. And uh, as the way it looks right now, that that's a, a definite good possibility. Um, but uh, we got to keep training and maintain our composure as a team, and and uh, make sure we're heading in the right direction. So for people who don't know a whole lot about wrestling, how, how does the national uh, kind of work with... National the, tournament, you go to your regional qualifier, and obviously if you qualify out of that, you go to the national tournament uh, with 10 weights there, and that's why I'm uh, talking about the 10 qualifiers. Uh, hopefully we get 10 out of our region that qualify to go to the national tournament. Uh, for our region, that happens to be right now at the moment, it's top three, uh, but we'll have some wild cards in there too. And uh, So your top three placers go to the national tournament, and then your wild cards will have a couple wild cards off of there. So it's not the end of the road if we don't place top three, each individual weight. Um, but uh, uh, like I said, I just reassure or want to reassure the guys, hey, get in the top three, qualify, get the national tournament two weeks from there. Where's Nationals at? Nationals in Spokane, Washington this so year. So quite a ways from here. Yeah, it's a, it's a little 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 journey for us. Well, uh, good uh, good luck in the preparation for uh, regionals, and, uh, and uh, hopefully we send as many as we possibly can. We'll be seeing. Thanks, guys.